they are the worst nightmare happens. In this episode, we face a leaked cinder bow. Is this the end of our journey? Or can we still enjoy the places we visit? A little bit of an excitement day. We are going to uh, clear into uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, we didn't do our homework. This is me, Kim. There is Bart. And here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33-foot sailboat, Tranquility. Last week, we repaired our engine with a brand new MDI box, got an invitation to a private swimming pool, explore Spice Island and set sail to Kariakou. So I think this is the first time we have uh, warm enough water and clear enough water to dive to our anchor. Let's see if I can make it. It's five meters depth. So let's see how far I can get. Maybe next time. You just need a little bit more practice to get to the bottom. We made it to Kariakou, which means Isle of Reefs. Kariakou is also part of the Grenadine Islands. We dropped our anchor in Tyrol Bay. It is very calm here, no more big waves. The whole island has a nice vibe. You won't find any big resorts or malls here. Today our worst nightmare happened. We had a leakage in the bow of the boat, so uh, that's where our bed is. And um, well, Kim doesn't want to sail anymore. She wants to quit and sell the boat in Curaçao. Because of all the... When you think you've got it all worked out, something like this happens again. The entire bed is wet with salt water. So that means we need to take this cover off, we need to wash it because otherwise it stays wet all the time. It's just terrible. Yeah. Water coming in we think might be through the bolt from the anchor winch or through the anchor locker because it's also wet up there. <sighs> I really need to clear my head. Just a lot of frustration and a little sad that everything breaks down. That's how I feel right now. We also need to wash the slips. So Liz and I will go to the laundry service at the marina and have some time at the beach. Back at the laundry service, picking up the sheets for the mattress. Of course, it was all salt, and we just had a little swim. Are you still happy on the on the as a living board, Kim? It's okay. I'm getting there. <laughs> what did you yell this morning? <laughs> I'm going to sell the crazy. We're going to Curacao and we're quitting. <laughs> yeah, moving back into a house. No salt water. We will get over this setback as well. For now we just bless it off. We can't fix the leakage right now. It has to wait until we are on the hard in Curacao. Luckily it's only leaking with headwinds and high waves that smash on the bow. We trust we can manage it until Curacao. Ik ga er met mama brengen. Oh, het helpt niet. Het is nog steeds donker. Vind je het ook donker? A 
a brand new day and time for Liz and Bart to explore a beautiful beach. The water is so clear around Karyaku, you just need to go for a swim. Life jacket on and into the dinghy. There they go. While Bart and Liz are going to the beach, I will try to do a small boat project. On a boat, all small projects, and now we have our beautiful Dutch flag, who lost the tip, so we need a new one. Luckily, we have some um, flag cord on board. Blackboard, a scissor, and of course, the <laughs> needle and thread. So, let's see what I can make out of it. I give up. We have a new flag. I'll take this one with me and I need a sewing machine. We think she has so much more joy that she knows how to uh, well float and swim like a dog. Um, it doesn't make us feel very safe because she's very easy going on the water and still uh, currents can be very, very tough. So um, we are always in the around when she does uh, swim. But it's a, also a very nice feeling that uh, if she falls in the water, she's just floating. And she managed to save herself. Put your belly up. Put your belly up. Very good. Very good. This will be our last night in Karyaku and with our friends. So we go out to Hillsborough. This is the capital of Karyaku and the only town here. We had a lovely night, one to remember. What, uh, what's the plan for today? Travel day. We think we might anchor at Sandy Island for a few hours and then head to Union Island, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. 
So at nine o'clock we can clear out and yeah then hoist the anchor and leave. But first breakfast. Coffee. Coffee. We really do like a cup of coffee in the morning. Sometimes it is a trigger for us to get seasick, so for longer trips we quit the coffee. But today it's a short trip, so we make one. On board we have three ways to make the coffee. Our favorite coffee is made by the percolator. But it takes a lot of water to clean, so at Anchor we usually make instant coffee. It is our less favorite but still better than no coffee. And the other way is filter coffee. Just left the Tyrol Bay on Kariakou and um, we're heading to Union Island. That's part of uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, it's the first time we tow our dinghy behind our boat, so it's a uh, a little bit exciting for us. Uh, I think we'll uh, be fine. Everybody's doing. Everybody doing it, do it, is doing that. So must be okay. Uh, we made a small bridle, like a triangle, so it will stay uh, behind the boat very well. Tracks very well. We're gonna set sail, hoist the sails in a minute now, and then we're saying goodbye to Grenada. Very friendly. Caribbean islands. Very nice, very nice people. Just above Kariakou, we have Mani Island and Sandy Islands in the back. Uh, Mabuya Islands, I must say Mabuya Island and Sandy Island in the back. And it's a uh, tricky sailing between the islands because the wind shifts all the time. It's uh, going around the islands, in between the mountains. So we have one reef in the main, sometimes we have 60 knots, sometimes we have nine. And we are close hold, sailing close hold. So I'm having my fingertips on the steering wheel and I'm just feeling what the boat is doing. So I feel the pressure in the rudder. If the wind picks up, I let the boat go to windward. Not too much. My sail starts flapping. I'm going off the wind a bit. And trying to keep the speed in the boat. So here's what happens on this trip. The white arrow is the wind direction. We cannot sail against the wind, so in theory our trip would look like this. But the wind turns because of the land and funnels through the islands. The wind isn't an arrow, it is all over the place and turns around every corner. So our real course looks a bit more like this. That's why I steer with my fingertips. I cannot see what the wind does, but I can feel it on the boat. We make a pit stop at Sandy Island before we go to Union Island. It is like we enter a movie. A big sandbar with some palm trees, soft white sand and turquoise blue water. This beautiful little island with a Robinson Crusoe view is located on the west side of Kariakou. It is a very nice spot to snorkel. But with strong winds today we decided not to and just enjoy this beautiful place really a perfect stopover. To be honest, we leave Grenada and Kariakou too soon. There is so much more. But with the time we have left, we also do not want to miss out on SVG. We 
just left uh, Sandy Island. It's a very beautiful, like what you think about the Caribbean, or well, at least we from Europe think about the Caribbean, is a very Caribbean island, Sandy Island. White beach, very clear blue water, palm trees. Uh, we anchored for uh, two hours, went to shore, did some swimming, and uh, now we left and uh, we're on our way to uh, Union Island, uh, part of uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, for the first part, time part we had our uh, dinghy behind our boat with the engine on it. Um, Kim mentioned, I guess with a very good plan, to uh, get the engine off and uh, put it on the side because uh, we're gonna go in between Karyaku and Union Island is a gap uh, with uh, well, no protection at all, so that's the full wind force from the ocean and waves from the ocean. So uh, that might be a little bit bumpy and uh, we don't want to uh, flip our dinghy over, especially not when our engine is on it. Now, if it flips over right now, it has no problem. So I think it was a very good idea of Kim. started with a triple reef in our main and our genoa is also uh, smaller uh, and the reason for that is that we know there might be a lot of wind between the islands uh, but we have no experience with it so just to be certain we decided to reef it all and we will see until now it's okay we make a speed between 4.55 knots well most of the time three two and a half three <laughs> yeah when the wind is down uh, but so far so good oh and just when kim mentioned it uh it's now going from 10 knots till 17 when we come around the corner so I think it's a good call I mean 17 knots we could easily take it with one reef and a full Genoa but for us it feels a little bit safer uh, to handle these uh, winds with a third reef because uh, we've heard stories about 30 to 40 uh, knots of wind in between the islands maybe a bit on the safe side and you are probably wondering where is Liz <laughs> she is asleep she had a very busy morning and afternoon with swimming, playing on the beach. So she decided I lay my head down. And we have some quality time. Today is a little bit of an excitement day. We are going to uh, clear into uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, we didn't do our homework. We uh, thought a uh, negative antigen test was uh, enough. But you needed to have a lot more uh, documents filled in. We are now going to leave to a hotel. There should be an agent and then we pay them a lot of money and they will make sure we can clear into the country. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our face are done We are going to clear in uh, All the good times just Sailing begun Sailing paper And look oh, We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright. The check-in with an agent was a new experience. Expensive but easy. Now we have some time to visit Clifton and look for a place for lunch. Oh, you and I. 
So it all worked out, uh, we checked into St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So uh, it means uh, we can get rid of our quarantine flag. The yellow flag. In the next episode, we leave Union Island behind and set sail to one of the other islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Our first stop is Tobago Case, a marine park. Time for snorkeling and friends. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all. Thank you.